Okay, welcome back guys. Um, now here's one last thing that I want to show you, which is another function um, that you can use in Excel. Now, if you remember, we talked about descriptive statistics that you can use for categorical data. And in this case, the best way or the only way to describe and summarize categorical data is to look at which category was chosen most often, which we call the mode. Now you can create the mode for um, things like what you have here. Obviously, you, you can see this from your frequency table, which you've created, is that the, the, the category with the highest frequency for question one was strongly agree. That means strongly agree was the mode here. And in question two, the category with the highest frequency was A, which was no preference. OK, but you could have also um, found that out from um, your raw data without actually having to make a frequency table. Um, and the function for that is called mode. Now, if we go to the very bottom of, um, of our data, and again, I'm just going to write into the cell next to, to this what I've created here, just to remind myself, and I press equals, which signifies to Excel that I'm now going to insert a formula. And the formula I want to use is mode. I then open a bracket and I highlight all of this data right here except for the column header, which is that one at the top. Close the bracket and press enter. Now Excel tells me that the mode is seven, which is, we know that that's correct because seven was what stood for strongly agree. And it was chosen 106 time, times and that makes it the mode. Now, the only thing with Excel and later on in the module, we'll be introducing an, uh, a software that is slightly better for um, this kind of um, these kind of functions. Problem with Excel is that it can only create the mode for numerical data. So where we have basically given categories, so this is still categorical data because strongly agree and strongly disagree are not numbers, but we have um, basically placed labels on these categories in the numbers one through seven. Now, in this column over here, we've given our um, di different dietary preferences, labels A through F, and Excel won't be able to create a mode for this. If you try, it doesn't work. Okay, so it comes back with an error. One way to get around this is to make these into numbers. So they don't have to be called A, B, C, D, E, F. They could also be called 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then you could actually look at the mode. OK, now, in order to um, replace all of these letters with numbers, we could use the find and replace function, which I will introduce a little bit later in the module. For now, it's fine that we have created the mode for this um, question, these answers here, which were seven, and it corresponds with our frequency table. And I've introduced the general concept of how you actually write um, formulae and functions in Excel. So now that is the end of the should section. And if you still have time or you're interested to learn more, please go on to look at the could section as well, which is um, just a quick five minute task that makes all of this very much easier um, than what we have, how we have done it so far.